lacrosse fans, D Leathers 11 back in the started in the Cleveland State Dynasty back up again. Uh, we are uh, three and one going into this game against the Marist Red Foxes after the, our tough uh, one goal loss we gave up in the final minute against uh, Johns Hopkins in the last game. Uh, I was looking at the uh, how the season's been going for Marist. They started off with a couple wins and then took a couple losses after that. So we're coming into this game three and one. They're coming in uh, two and two. So it should be, um, you know, pretty good test for us after uh, we took that tough loss last week. Looks like the stands are filling up here at Providence Park. Couldn't ask for better weather than this. We really uh, would like to get that bad taste out of our mouths from that Hopkins game. Um, they really, uh, everyone played so hard in that game, just come up just short. Hopkins really uh, played well down the stretch. So they absolutely uh, earned the win in that one. Cleveland State will look to get Here back on the winning now. track with this one today. Maris was a little nice lower rated than we were. Off. I want to say they were uh, in the mid-30s. And we're still about in the teens. So that loss to Hopkins really didn't hurt us too much. As it shouldn't have, really. I mean, Hopkins is a is a tough team. So you don't get penalized when you lose to somebody good, uh, generally. Braswell. As we drop into our uh, usual 3-1-2. Knocked loose. Poughkeepsie, come up with it. Might try an experiment with a different formation this game. I'll try the 2-2-2. Uh, two, two, two. Just to see. Ball goes off the post. And Ober comes up with it. Cleveland State will look to clear. Here's Baron Micklevane. Across to Newfelt. Down to Norman Butler. Stinson. And to Stinson the in the corner. Dodges out of his defender on oh, the ball. Just barely doesn't go in the net as it trickles to the side. Luckily for Maris, unluckily for us. Looks like Maris is playing some variation of the 3-1-2. Try a the deep shot. Cade Ferris looks to clear it. Gets it to Harrison Braswell. Rolls out of trouble. Sails wide. Found all kinds of space there. Sent the shot just a bit wide. So we drop into the, our 2-2-2. Uh, two, two, two. I was hoping it might open Black up some accuracy. space for me in the Flies middle. Because sitting in the 3-1-2, uh, there's always a guy kind of clogging it up. Shoots. Now there might be a little more open space. Oh, uh, we aren't able to close on Maris quickly enough. And they start the game with the first goal. One zero Marist. Let's see who comes away with it. Moore cinches it and the home team goes straight on attack. I might get a long stick Looks shot here. Ooh, and he takes it. There. It was a good look, but back. couldn't quite get her to go Green in. Ball. Scott Riley dodging around. Braswell. Get some quick passes going. And there we're able to get that bounce shot and even this thing up. Jackson Braswell getting to space and letting it fly. Solid goal there. Play resumes. We're underway again here at Providence Park. Charles wins the faceoff. Volts ball. Matthews. He's in. Volts ball. Chance for them. Paul goes off the post. As our long stick looks to clear it. Six. 
They dump off to Cade Ferris. Down to Dwayne Pickett. Braswell finding space. Riley's wide open and hits it deep in the back of the net that time. As Maris just leaves it completely wide open, the goalie just super l late to slide. To the face -off X for another scrap. The Cleveland State takes the 2 1 advantage now. Charles gets in first, and Poughkeepsie have the advantage. With the chance. Oh, yes. Oh, Maris gets that one. I could have sworn that he stepped on the line there to be in the crease. Let's see. No, it was close, but that was definitely a goal. One more look at it. He got about as close to stepping on the line as you can get without do it actually stepping on it. And Maris ties it. So Cleveland State's going to have to continue to work to try and win these faceoffs. And win the possession battle. And just like that, we give the ball right back. It doesn't do much good winning faceoffs if you aren't uh, defending the ball once you do acquire it. Here's Matt Newfelt trying to find somebody to take it from him. And Kelly Griffin will step up and take it around the back side of the net. I think we're going to switch out of the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Try the 2-3-1. Just getting harassed there. Ackerson. The side to Stinson. Back to the middle. Oh, and that time, once again, fell to the... Holding the shot stick down too long. As my second guy who got the ball, I still had the stick down from the shot. And he shoots it into the back of the net. And Maris makes us pay. Coming down. And just... Blazing that uh, angle shot right behind my goalie's back. More for the home team. Charles for Poughkeepsie. Here goalie again. probably should have stopped that one. More wins it for the home team. Just need to be patient and look for uh, look for space. On that time, Ratliff steps up and gets the long stick goal. His 20 on Maris just flails, unable to do much. And that was a much needed goal as it ties this thing in three apiece. They're late in the first quarter. Moore takes the ball again. Triff Smith comes circling around to the right side. Dodging into the middle. He finds space and he buries it. And Cleveland State, just like that, two quick goals and we've got the lead back. Four to three. 24 seconds left, so still time for an opportunity for the quarter ends. Important face off here. And Ross Moore takes it. We'll try and quickly get it upfield. Oh, and just didn't quite wait long enough to throw that pass, and Cleveland State sloppily throws it away. Four seconds left. We've got to stop the ball. Two seconds. A pretty decent job on defense there, slowing down Maris as they tried to push it up. The That's the quarter break. It's four to three. Scrappy Pretty uh, scrappy quarter from both teams. Here we go. Face off again here as this is really Robert a momentum Spark. game for both squads. Cleveland State trying to keep up the uh, winning momentum as it got off uh, track a little bit last week against Hopkins and Marist, trying to get back above 500. Really a pretty important game for both teams here. Steps in to shoot. And Moore comes up on the right side of the net and finds the left side. Very nice shot there. Starting again here 
at the faceoff between Moore and Charles. Moore is able to win the faceoff face again. Clears it up to Ben Stinson. Dodges. Double dodges. Oh, it looked like he got pushed in the back. And he did. As the referees will call Marist for that one. Cleveland State will get the ball back. With a 6 on 5 advantage. Kelly Griffin dodging down. Wide open. Hits it off the side of the post. David Sanchez is getting hounded. And Cleveland State just throws the ball away. Not sure where that pass was heading. And the penalty is over as well. So Cleveland State unable to take advantage. We do bump him into the crease that time to get the ball back quickly. It's Cade Ferris looking to clear. Takes it up to Trip Smith. To Reed Wagner on the left side. Cade Ferris down the middle to Jackson Braswell and he finds the back of the net. Really nice ball movement from the Vikings there. As that's kind of been their Achilles heel this season so far. Every time we struggle or the one game we lost, I would say there just wasn't quite enough ball movement. Ross Moore takes the face off yet again. Mickelvane gets it to Wagoner, and he'll set it up. Braswell dodging around. Wagoner just can't find any space, but he still is able to just let it fly and gets it past the goalie. Just getting absolutely hounded by two defenders there. Great effort. And that puts the Vikings up by four. Seven to three. Seven three for the home team. Ross Moore nice continues to do great off. work at the faceoff. As he looks for someone to dump it to. Ball got deflected on the pass, right it looks like there. The Maris gets it right back. Ah, oh, it's got uh, strung up my defender there. It was, it was on a two on one sort of situation. And I wasn't able to slide well, in time to prevent that goal. So Maris gets one back over and, over and cuts the, defe the deficit to three. Poughkeepsie might want to check themselves into the nearest institute. The home team has been winning face-off after face-off after face-off. The visitors need to try something else here because they are losing a heck of a lot of possession out there. Hauser. Green ball. It looked like Maris may have gone off sides there. As we dodge toward the middle to the right side. And then down the middle again. Cleveland State really starting to fill it up now in this game. Just past the goalie's uh, outstretched stick. Back to the faceoff X again for another big possession. Charles gets in first, and Poughkeepsie have the advantage. There's a shot. Oh, and once again we are slow to slide. Maris hangs in. You can see I was flying over there with the defender, but it was just too late. We are ready to resume play. And Maris it's makes eight it 8-5. Uh, nice win on the face Moore off. takes the face off. Comes out on top. Up to Matt Newfelt. To a streaking Baron Mickelvane. Ah. Riley. Got wrapped on the back of Oh, Harrison Braswell found space, but the goalie holds up, makes a big save there. Because that would have made this a four-goal game. I don't know how he was able to hit that shot. That was incredible. Two defenders right in front of his face and the goalie. He gets it past all of them. Play resumes. We're underway again the Cleveland here. State looks Matt dumbfounded, but Maris gets credited with the goal, and it's just a two-goal lead now for the Vikings. Moore wins the face As Moore continues winning these face-offs for us. Braswell, Braswell lets one fly. charges into the middle. Goal from Braswell. That's number two for him. And he gets his second goal of the day. The 
Really, it's just about uh, effort sometimes on the offensive end. It's nine. If you just have a, that little burst of energy more than your uh, defender, you can get into the space and find uh, open shots like that. Uh, Logan Atkerson tried to okie doke him and toss it back in the middle, but Maris' defense was not fooled. Marist almost gets uh, another goal from the preferred shooting spot on the side there, but that time it did not go. Brandon Price will get it back into the offensive zone for the Vikings. Coming down the middle, Braswell. the dump off to Harrison Braswell, and he takes another shot in the back. Maris gets their second penalty of the day. Six on five advantage now for the Vikings. The ball goes to the ground. Goes for the shot. Cade Ferris got it knocked out of his stick, picked it back up, and let it fly. And the Vikings will keep possession. Trip Smith lets it fly. It's not who I was trying to pass to there, but. Trip Smith lets it fly again and again it goes flying. The Vikings have the backup once again. As they look to find space. Found that space. And again the shot goes wide. So we are getting our opportunities here. Just keep working for good looks. Behind the net to Braswell. And stepped in the crease. There wasn't a whole lot I could do to avoid that it seemed like. I was already pulling back on the stick by the time he caught it. So... Just a tough uh, spot to pass it in, I guess. Would have liked Braswell to have a little more field awareness of where he was there, but uh, the turnover will stand. And Kootman comes up with a very nice save. Just under a minute left here before half. And the Vikings will work it for a good opportunity. As we are not in any rush to make this shot. So we get a pretty wide open look. Doesn't seem like we're getting Braswell getting hounded. Kicks Sanchez. around the back to Sanchez. There's a man open in front. We can get it to him. We do. And converts on the opportunity. Stinson gets that goal. Very nicely done. With just 30 seconds left. Before the halftime break. Moore takes a face off. Cade Ferris gets it in the zone, and now the Vikings will definitely try and kill some more clock. Make sure that Maris doesn't get an opportunity for a goal off a stop here. And we'll just get the last shot of the quarter. Kelly Griffin gets knocked in the back. Nine seconds left. Ah, and Cade Ferris. Unable to stay out of the circle. But we've only left them with about five seconds, so... Maris not able to advance the ball up the field quickly enough to get a shot off. And that'll take us into halftime. It is 10-6 uh, Vikings at the half, so we take a quick look at the stats. You can see we've been out shooting them. Uh, neither goalie really <laughs> saving much. Uh, as you can see, our goalie is saving just 25% and there is 16, so that's pretty low on both sides. Uh, passes, we've been doing a pretty decent job of that. Uh, winning 12-6 uh, to 6 on the ground balls. And then they've had the advantage coming to the turnovers, and then our face-offs have been solid as usual. 14-4 to 4 there, so Ross Moore really putting us in good spot. They're coming away with the Lions As we get this second half started. One gets the feeling that the visitors have been a bit complacent here. They really should be trying Ross to Moore takes his 15th faceoff win of the day. Again between Moore and Charles. Braswell gets it in the offensive zone. Finds himself wide open. Kicks it to the middle. And Steven Riley buries that one on the right side of the net. Yeah, the smaller defender couldn't do much against him in that situation. Well, it seemed like Maris actually won that faceoff, but the ball went sailing a little farther than they were prepared to go for it. So the Vikings get the ball back. As Brandon Price tries to get to the middle, Steven Riley just gets absolutely uh, defended. 
as the ball goes off the back of a Maris player and Braswell's there to get the ball right back. Oh, seeing wrapped in the back there, but Maris is able to come away with it. Just couldn't close fast enough to stop Maris there as they uh, continue to get the ball upfield quickly and get behind our defense. So it is uh, back to a four goal lead for the Vikings. Moore takes the face off. Gets it up to Braswell. Dodge to the left, dodge to the right. And that ball just went sailing away. Cleveland State will keep it. Oh, it looked for the quick, uh, quick pass and shot there, but it went wide. It, as Cleveland State gets the ball right back down the middle. And the goalie stops it. Cleveland State will draw back in defense. Maris uncorks a pretty far shot. And they get the ball back. I may have pulled the defense out a little too wide there. But ends up being alright as our goalie gets it right back. Up to John Ober who looks for the clear. Finds Kelly Griffin. Gets it over to Reed Wagoner. Down to Trip Smith. Down to Braswell. Over to Wagoner. Really nice ball movement from the Vikings. Oh, and that this pass just sails. Bad pass. We're just one pass away, it felt like, from a pretty good look at the look at the net. So Maris gets it back. And our goalie holds up that time. Scott Ratliff, long stick, picks it up and gets it up to Brandon Alvarez. Was able to get the clear and dump off to Reed Wagoner. Stephen Riley down the middle. And stick got bumped, I believe, which is what caused that shot to go uh, sailing. Wagoner. Wagoner gets it. Almost drew another penalty there, it looked like. Stinson to Sanchez, who's completely uh, covered. They're all over the Vikings right now. As we just look to dump it off to somebody, but everybody's completely uh, guarded there. As Maris gets the ball, drives right down and scores. Didn't seem like there was a whole lot I could do about that as I was all over the shooter. And they cut our lead to three. Just two minutes left here in the uh, third quarter. Aaron McIlvain comes away with it as he sprints down. Gets bumped and the dump off to Ackerson. Who loses a defender. McIlvain got nailed and he turns it over. Let's see what they can do. Oh, like a pass that may might have uh, sailed on him. But in any case, Cleveland State gets the ball back. As we look to see if they might uh, double team us. As we see a man wide, and, wide open in front of the net and the goalie holds strong and stops it. Maris goalie playing a little better in this uh, second half, it seems like. Oh, and I just got totally caught out of position on that play. That was absolutely my fault. It looked like the offensive player just put me on skates. I'm not sure why I wasn't able to stay in front of him there. It is 11 to 9 now as Cleveland State wins this face off. As Maris creeping back into this game. Almost steps on the line there for Stinson. Oh, and Cleveland State takes a shot in the back. Maris playing really aggressive defense in this game. And that possession was no different. Wagoner just drives right past his defender, takes the shot, and gets it. And it is 12 to 9 now, Vikings. 
Poughkeepsie might want to check themselves into the nearest institute. The Here comes Wagoner. Has been winning face -off after face -off Gets it to a wide open Jackson Braswell. And he dodges to the middle and nails it. They are losing a heck of a lot of possession out there. And bullseye. What a goal. It looks like the ball may have uh, ricocheted off the top of the bar there. And it did. You see the lighting has changed as we get a little further into this one. Cleveland State hanging on to that four goal advantage now. And the penalty's over, so we're back to even strength. The Vikings look for one last uh, look here in the fourth. Or the uh, third, rather. Cade Ferris dodging around at the top, loses the defender. Gets to space and lets it fly. Cleveland State with the backup. Man wide open in front of the net. And we'll make them pay for that one. Not sure the type of defense that Maris is playing exactly, but it's leading to a lot of guys just wide open there. Which that is a shot that we're, we are happy to take every time. And Cleveland State now up 14 to 9. Looking for uh, maybe one last opportunity here. As we take, bring the ball upfield with 16 seconds left for the quarter break. Harrison Braswell thought better of it. But nine seconds left. Baron Micklevane gets into the space and he finds the net for an absolutely huge goal. Pass the defender, pass the goalie. What a play. Just four seconds left now, so this face-off almost elementary. Unless somebody can get a really fast shot, which looks like Maris might. Oh, they do. But Koopman's able to uh, net it, uh, toss it away safely. So, uh, with just one quarter left to go, Cleveland State's got a six-goal advantage now. It's 15-9. We are ready to resume play. It's 15-9 for the home team. So it's looking like we'll be able to hang on for the win here as long as we don't totally implode. Which is really good after that uh, really tough loss last week. Who knows, maybe we'll uh, run into Hopkins down the road and uh, if we're able to make the NCAA tournament later this season, it'll be really nice to get some revenge on those guys. As I waited for the uh, defender to go come over. Oh, Logan Atkinson gets it, but can't stop his momentum and goes out of bounds with it. The ball goes back to Marist. That ball goes wide. Koopman gets it. And clears it to Rossmore. McElvain. Throws it down to McElvain. To Braswell. As we look for space. Braswell. And that time I went into the circle as a result of the defender bumping me. But it is a uh, turnover all the same here. As we try and slow uh, Maris' progress up the field. They're able to stop him that time. As our goalie looks for the clear. And Newfelt brings it up the left side of the field. Dumping down to Griffin. I'm not sure why that pass uh, got broken up, but it does. And then Maris promptly turns it over. So turnover is uh, flying here for both teams. It's been a bit of a sloppy game, um, even on our half. I mean, Cleveland State's definitely capable of playing better than they have in this one, but. Marist having all sorts of problems. Rips it in. The ball goes to the ground. Stinson ripped the shot off, but stepped on the line. I don't know that that went in either. I think it may have uh, ricocheted off the uh, post and out. We weren't able to close quickly enough on Marist. Stop them from clearing it there. Oh, really nice save by Koopman and the. Uh, point blank shot from the 
Red Foxes. Cleveland State brings it down, just under three minutes left. And what's turning out to be a no goal scored yet in this quarter. Stinson, save! He's good. Poughkeepsie will get a chance. Had a good, pretty He's decent look at it there, but continue. unable to uh, today, get it past the goalie. Francis. He's in. Francis with a goal. That's his second. Maris today. that time just ignoring the defender. Well, I thought it was pretty good defense, but not good enough. Just past uh, Koopman's outstretched Lacrosse stick. Game of and it's if a five-goal game now. You're in good shape. Vikings ought to be all right, as long as we don't give up a lot of goals in a short amount of time. So we might do a little bit of a ball control here, just to make sure, absolutely sure that that doesn't happen. Because we're getting double teams, so we'll try and move it. Harrison Braswell finding space. There's a shot. Goes wide. Let the shot fly. Can't get it. Braswell gets double teamed. Chance they leave McIlvain wide high. open, but ball sails wide to the left. And sends it loose. And it's turned over. And they ultimately are able to get it, knock it out of my stick. Now for the home team. Oh, and they make us pay for that one as they come down and get another one. Just too, left the shooter too wide open on the shot there. Cleveland State wins the face off. Just about a minute and a half left here. Let's see who comes away so we look for, see if we can't get on the board in this fourth quarter. Maris defense playing super aggressive, so there should be an open shot somewhere. Harrison Braswell across to the middle. And there we find Trip Smith in the middle. Really nice job of passing there to find uh, the open man. When the defenses are playing aggressive, like Marist has been in this game, you're always able to, Down to the face find somebody open position. if you're willing to be patient enough to move the ball like that. So Ross Moore takes the face off. The face off and they get a step. David Sanchez swims to the middle and then we're on the outside. The defender will chase him. Gets it to Reed Wagoner. Pulls it towards the middle. And he's closely guarded, so he'll sprint away. Here's Braswell. Here's a shot. Uh, I was aiming for the lower right portion of the net there. So I was able to shoot it on the right side, but not get it to where I wanted. Oh, and that time the goalie holds up. Just 40 seconds left, though, so Cleveland State just playing out the stretch. And Maris tosses it away. Cleveland State will look to clear it now. Gets it over to Cade Ferris on the right, left side. Do double dodge to the left to Reed Wagoner. Just 20 seconds left. i probably just play some keep away at this point. Here's McIlvain. They send a triple team at him. And it is hard to turn down when you have that much open space. As McIlvain lets the shot fly with just uh, nine ticks left. There's a skip shot. Ricochets off the goalie and in. So Cleveland State gets their advantage back to six here. As we play out the final moments of this one. Maris wins the faceoff. Comes streaking down. Koopman wins it. And that'll be the game. It's a pretty decent bounce back effort for the Vikings here. Not their most polished game ever. But, uh... A win is a win all the same, so we'll take this uh, victory gladly over uh, Marist. Cleveland State improves their record to 4-1 uh, and one on the season. And Marist will drop to 2-3. and three. So we take a quick look at the stats from the game.
Yeah, both goalies struggled in this one. I mean, they got their percentages up a bit in the second half, but still pretty brutal overall. Cleveland State uh, definitely with some uh, improved ball movement in this game. So that was definitely a positive. And uh, again, the faceoff area continues to be strong suit of this team as they take 26 to just 6 for Marist. And then uh, Rossmore, rightfully so, comes away with the MVP of the game. As he got his, uh, it's like 17 ground balls and 26 face-off wins. So he absolutely deserves it. Honestly, he could get our uh, most valuable player just about every game. But yeah, that will uh, that will do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, as always. And uh, definitely be sure to uh, tune in for the next video in this series. I believe it is against the uh, St. John's Red Storm. We'll take a look at our schedule here. Or calendar just to make sure. Yeah, so that's, that's right. So our next game will be um, back at home at uh, Krenzler Field in Cleveland taking on uh, St. John's. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Uh, until then, take care.